Before getting to San Antonio's weather story, spectacular video from inside this monster hurricane. Hurricane hunters don't fly above the storms. They don't fly around them. They fly into them. And when that happens, these planes can record some phenomenal video. Take a look at this. This is inside the eye of Hurricane Barrel today. And that's what's called the stadium view. When you're looking at the wall, of that eye. That is incredible. And it's inside that wall, that eye, that wind speeds just less than two hours ago were recorded at 182 miles per hour. Unbelievable. All right, we're going to get to barrel in a moment. First, San Antonio's weather story tonight, 102 on the thermometer this afternoon. Floresville was there as well as New Braunfels, Austin. In fact, 105 at Del Rio today, 105. It was a little drier out there, a little breezy tonight. It would have been nice to have this breeze when we were hitting 102 this afternoon, but unfortunately the winds were under 10 miles an hour in the heat of the day. The numbers, we should be stopping at 94, and you'd think going that far above average would hit a record, but we're still four degrees shy of a very old record that stays in place of 106 from 1894. Please remember in this extreme heat, Project Cool, help us out by bringing a brand new box fan to any San Antonio fire station. If you need a fan or have any questions, call the United Way helpline at 211. To the tropics, this time last night, Hurricane Barrel, a Category 5. But with the wind speeds I mentioned that the hurricane hunters clocked at 182, the gusts are there, but the sustained winds are at 150. So she sits at a category four tonight with a lot of rain and big time thunderstorms racing into the Dominican Republic as the storm kind of eyes the island of Jamaica. So let's take a look at the ensemble forecast of all the models which have a good consensus of going right into the Yucatan Peninsula early Friday morning, then emerging into the southern Gulf of Mexico by Saturday afternoon. Now these are deep warm waters and steering currents become very important at this point. Now, some of those currents are taking this storm farther up the Texas coast to impact Corpus Christi, Port Aransas, Rockport. This is a handful of models, while there's still several that send it in to central, almost central Mexico, well south of even South Padre Island. So the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center says category four for Jamaica, down to a category two over the Cayman Islands, and then a strong to maybe minimal two as we get into Thursday evening south of Cancun. Then into the Bay of Campeche by Friday evening as a strong tropical storm. This is when we're going to watch for that turn, and you can see it coming in around South Padre Island Sunday evening at 6 o'clock. Again, cone of probability brings it a, farther, a little bit farther to the north. Now, an important forecast for Port Aransas, Rockport, Copano Bay, Corpus Christi, 40% chance of rain Saturday. Sunday will double it to an 80% chance. Thursday, the 4th, and Friday, both looking beautiful on the Texas coast. All right, the first seven of our 14-day forecast will show you a minimal chance of rain by Saturday, Sunday. It really picks up Monday, Tuesday. So for the 4th and the Friday following, no big changes. In fact, highs right around 100. Please make sure you're hydrating for the 4th. Now, the second week of our 14-day forecast will show you rain chances are pretty good through Thursday, and we'll even keep them on the forecast through the weekend of the 13th and 14th. Notice that highs will start cooling a little bit, too. Once we start getting this tropical moisture in place, it means a lot more humidity to go with it. But so far, the 4th is looking pretty good, Nate.